Chester D. Myers here, and welcome to Advent. Uh, why couldn't Avery be your camera creature? Well, because you're popular and you contrast me. <sighs> Fair enough. I'm guessing all of us know this time of year is for Christmas. And even if you don't believe in Jesus, you've probably also heard the story of the birth of Jesus. Yeah, but... Why are we talking about this right now? Isn't Christmas like weeks away? Because before Christmas is Advent, the time to prepare for the birth of Jesus. Huh? You prepare for something that's already happened? One step at a time, Lucy. Each week a different theme is covered. This week I'll be sharing about hope. Hope? Is this a joke or something? No, nope, no joke here, because there will always be times where hope is hard to find. There are a lot of things in the world that can make us want to lose hope. Winter sometimes feels like a physical version of that hopelessness, because it gets dark early. God, there's no reason to fear thee, dark. I shall take on whatever lives in here. Where are we, anyway? It's okay to feel afraid, Lucy. But it's true, you can't get very far roaming around in the dark. Ah, oh, it's light now. That's why light is so important. It helps us see the way. There's a reason why small children at church learn this simple tune. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Okay, so you're comparing the light to Jesus, or are you comparing the light to hope? I'm comparing it to both. <gasps> You've lost me again. Jesus is hope. Before his birth, there was no hope for humanity. We could try and follow God as well as possible, but the fall of Adam and Eve put us all in sin. Every person, no matter how good or bad, has this sin. And that's the dark. Exactly! The birth of Jesus and his sacrifice on the cross finally gave people a chance at eternal life, even beyond this world. This was a hope that was always there, even in the time of the Old Testament. So they were waiting for the birth of Jesus all the way back then? Well, sure, but they didn't know who Jesus was yet. All they had to go off of was hope presented through prophets, proclaimers of the will of God. So, if I'm understanding this correctly, when we have hope, we see a light to help us through the darkness. Yeah, you got it! And that hope was the birth of Jesus that we celebrate on Christmas. Yeah! So, that's what Advent is about. Having hope for a Savior. Well, that's only part of it. What do you mean, only part of it? Well, there are more themes to Advent than just hope. Tune in next week when we talk about peace. What? You didn't say we'd have to do more than these, Chester! And now for a Bible verse with Chester! There are lots of verses in both the Old and the New Testament that talk about the hope of Jesus coming to earth. Even after Jesus left, we are constantly reminded of him throughout the rest of the Bible. Galatians 4, 4 through 5 contains one of these reminders. It reads, But when the right time came, Jesus sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law, so that he could adopt us as his very own children. There are lots of words from this verse, but I like to read verses by making silly voices. It helps me remember the main points, and it's lots of fun, too. Today, I think I'll read this verse in a high-pitched voice because making high-pitched voices is fun. And people already say I have a high-pitched voice, so let's see if I can make it even higher. You can say the verse at home with me. <clears throat> but when the right time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, subject to the law. God sent him to buy freedom for us who were slaves to the law so that he could adopt us as his very own children. Galatians 4, 4 through 5. If you want to try and do the verse again, you can make up any kind of silly voice you want to read it. You can go really high like we just did, 
or you can go really low, or you can go super duper duper fast where you can't even know what you're saying, or you can go really slow, or you can come up with any other sort of voice you can think of. Have fun when reading the Bible verses because it'll help them stick in your brain better. Well, that's all for today's Advent video. We'll see you next week. Goodbye! It's a nice fireplace.